I can't tell you how much fun I have in kind of creating recipes or creating menued items. Um, it's just a blast. There's a variety of options to eat on campus. We have the main dining hall here in the Student Center, which serves about 4,000 or so meals on an average weekday. Um, and then there's six locations around campus as well. Shops that serve everything from coffee, baked goods, sandwiches, wraps, egg sandwiches, burritos, um, more on the go eating, or if you prefer to just have a bit of taste of something new. So the dining hall is not just a place to eat. It's an opportunity for students to get together um, on more of a casual basis, uh, share a meal together, and it gives us an opportunity opportunity to come up with some special events to actually keep the excitement here on campus. We have sushi available for lunch and dinner during the week. We have a rotisserie that cooks rotisserie chicken and salmon on Fridays. The salmon is always good in the dining hall. We always get the salmon. It's delicious. Yeah, it's definitely one of our favorites. We make our own focaccia bread for the deli. We make our own pizza dough that's served there for the pizza. We serve grass-fed burgers. Um, we do taco Tuesdays. We do cupcakes on Tuesdays as well. Um, we like to incorporate a lot of international cuisines into the menu rotation, so you get a little bit of a flavor of different types of um, tastes to kind of mix up your palate. But we also include classics like chicken parm and chicken nuggets are really popular. So anytime we are able to identify a particular uh, event that's going on, whether it be National Pancake Day or Waffle Day, we kind of take advantage of that and make it fun and try to pop it up and, and, and uh, have uh, everybody smile about that because grilled cheese sandwiches are, are something that most people really enjoy and we tend to usually put a little bit of a twist on them uh, to make them a little different but still look and taste really good. We take a lot of consideration into making sure that we're providing not only good looking food, but great tasting food and trying to minimize the restrictions of dietary issues and concerns. For those that need a special meal, we actually incorporate that largely in our menu and development. There are some other meals that we do provide more on an individual basis, but for the majority, given our offerings, it's all incorporated in our menu selection. So it's not all about just eating once you're here, but it's learning how to eat. Learning how to eat responsibly and what's best for your body. Um, and through that, we all also give a lot of food demonstration and just educational classes as a whole, not just actually preparing food, but whether it be healthy cooking or what ingredients you should use and what ingredients you don't need to use to make something taste better. Um, this is something that everyone can take with them once they leave. And food is always, you know, a, a means of, of gathering. So I know that the food usually draws the crowd, but I love to see the interaction and the laughter and everyone just having a good time. Food is a great tool to learn from and you can learn a lot from it, whether it is different cuisines and flavors and cultures or personal lessons about your health, um, what you need um, nutritionally. It's really to make sure everyone's getting a healthy meal, tastes good, looks good, and uh, feeds their mind.